Hey everyone, it's Vicki from Messy Table Studio, and yes, I still have that viral crud. It's been nearly eight, ten days now, and the test is still positive. I'm positive it's hanging on, and I'm not real happy about it. <laughs> I sound a lot better than I did last week, but I'm still, I still cough, and it's really annoying. <laughs> okay, so for today's video, I watched a video from a website called Our, oh, what's the name of her channel? Our Upcycled Life. And I will leave a link for it down below in the description box because you'll want to see her video in case mine is not as accurate. <laughs> um, the whole point of her video is a way to save on buying rub-ons. And I thought it was a really ingenious idea, so I'm going to give it a try. I tried this last week when I wasn't feeling so well, and it went okay, but I think that... I want to try it again when, when the fog is starting to lift. So what you start out with is a piece of paper that had something else sticking to it first, like old address labels, sticky paper where you peeled the whole part off. And what I have here is a label, our labels, these little tiny labels, and these are so old they barely stick. So I'm going to sacrifice this for the project. I'm going to take all this mess off, and when I get done with this, I'll be right back. All right, so here's my, my pile. <laughs> all right, I'm using, um, I think these were, were these Avery labels? I don't know. These, I think, were some inkjet, says inkjet printer labels. I have no idea what brand these are because... I have thrown the package away and I store my stuff in these uh, car ticket holders and I just put on their miscellaneous address labels. This quality of paper for sticking the labels is very thin. It's not as thin as tissue paper, but it's also not as sturdy as just cheap, even just cheap um, computer paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tape and I'm going to glue glue I'm gonna tape this to here I've done this with vellum in the past and it works fine it if you need to get the tape really close to the edge of the paper or it will snag in the printer and then you'll be saying a lot of four-letter words and then another word with my name included <laughs> all right so let's see I love these little tape runners they're so cute all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the shiny, waxy side up, which will, will be what the printer prints on. I hope I get this in there as straight as possible. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, so we're going to stick this on here. And I think I'm a little bit off. Close enough for government work. All right, so this is just a um, miscellaneous piece of paper I can't use anymore that I was going to do jelly prints on. I have a little box where I put all that paper in when I print it on the wrong side or done something to it that I don't need it. I don't want to put it in the trash. I want to save it, and I can jelly print over it, or I can rip it up and use it for pulp, whatever. I just save them. All right, so now you have the nice uh, waxy side of the paper upright. The next thing you need to do is go to your um, files in the computer or some place that has vintage stuff, whatever it is you're going to use, and find a print that you really like. Now, I'm going to go and use my own artwork because, for me, it's a whole lot easier. Let's see. Uh, where's my stuff? All right, let me find something, and then I'll show you. I had this print in my um, in one of my files for my artwork that I um, <clears throat> excuse me scanned and then put it you know on the computer so I wouldn't have to keep redoing it and this is what I want to use so I'm going to take the file that this is on in the computer and I'm going to put this paper into the computer and then I'm going to print this onto the waxy side here 
Let me see if this works. Pray. Okay, so I printed this copy, you know, an image the same as that. And I did set my printer so that it would do maximum color, but you can see that that color is very faint compared to just the printed piece on a, a piece of typing paper. The mistake I think I've made on this, and I'm, I'm, we're going to see how it goes, is this um, label paper has that word inkjet label thingy printed on it, and it also shows the line for where the labels used to be, so I'm not sure this is going to work with this specific paper. You'll need um, wax paper or something with a waxy backing to it that has nothing written on it. Mine does. My mistake. All right, so... I'm going to leave it right here, and I don't want to touch it because the minute you touch it, your image is gone. So I don't want to touch it. Um, I was at Dollar Tree before I got sick and bought a bunch of um, tissue paper for my Artemat business because I wrap all my stuff up into tissue paper. I wrap all my stuff in, in the tissue paper so it helps to weight down the box. So, I'm going to use this, the outer portion of the tissue paper, for my print because I want to see if this is going to work on tissue paper. I really like this idea, and I hate to waste all this nice white tissue paper. I'm going to cut the labels off of this. Oh, now it's gone up to $1.25. used to be just a buck. Still a good value. Not complaining just an observation. I didn't realize it had gone up to $1.25. Some stuff I knew had, but this I did not, because I just go in and grab it, pay for it, and I leave because I'm always in a hurry when I get it. All right, so I'm going to cut all these other pieces off of here. I don't want this other stuff. Now, you can um, rub this onto scrapbook paper. You can do any of that. Oh, here we go. Got a bigger piece. Um, you can rub it Put your transfer on anything and I will show you the first method that she used. We get rid of this stuff and I have this, this, this going to trash. All right, so I'm going to take this off of here because this is not very smooth surface and I know you're going to see the reflection in the lights on my board. I'm sorry, but my, my board is not very clean. <laughs> I'm going to take some scissors, and I'm going to gingerly take this. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Because I have two pieces of paper, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to cut this in half. And try not to mess up the design with touching it with my fingers. All right, so this is the way I watched her do it. She took the printed piece flipped it upside down on paper. Let's do it on the shiny side here. And then she placed it down and rubbed. So this essentially takes the place of a rub on, a transfer, whatever you want to call it. So you just kind of rub on it. I'm sure that I'm rubbing longer than it needs to be, but I want to make sure this turns out. Then, flip it up, and it worked. There it is, right there. And the color is really much better than what I started with. This one, the, you know, the waxy side. And, looks pretty good, doesn't it? I am shocked as all get out. I love this. This is great. Um, and the, the ink jetty paper stuff that's printed on there didn't show up. Neither did the lines where the labels used to be. I am tickle pink. Wow, wow, something actually turned out. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. All right, so let me um, let me do what I, the second part that I saw her do on another piece of paper, on a, on a regular piece of paper. I have a little bit left here, and I don't want to waste it. Um, and I'll show you what she talked about if you don't like the first print you get. 
Okay, so I started to edit the video that I had already finished, and re and when I went back to do the um, cut and paste of the site that I got this from, our upcycled life, and figured out I did the second portion of the video that I just got done recording all wrong. So now I'm redoing it. So I've got my wax paper taped to my um, miscellaneous. Oh come on, my miscellaneous computer paper in the printer, and I'm going to reprint. Whoop whoop whoop! Where is it? I'm going to print on the paper again, and I'm trying to make the settings so that it's dark again. And um, Epson has output quality called standard high standard or standard vivid and high. So I'm doing high, which means it's more saturated color. Print. And there goes the printer. Let's hope it makes it all the way through without getting stuck in there. And then I need to find This time I'm using the um, Deco Page paper one. It's a little more fluidy than the other one, which was more thick. And I need to find a nicer paintbrush, one that has softer bristles on it. Because when I did this last time, you could see the brush marks in it, and that is not the desired result. So the printer is still hacking away. Let me shake this up to make sure this is good. This is pretty liquidy. Good. Let's see if I can get it open. Oh, yay! I rarely use this stuff anymore. Well, as of late. Let's put it that way. Ugh. And uh, so I'm never really sure when I open it what kind of condition it's in. Look, I've got it all over the place already. I just started! Good grief. All right. Let's poke you down in there. And pull this other nasty stuff off. All right, so the printer is done. I'm going to show you my paper. So this looks like the one that was from the last, from the first time I did it. I'm not going to cut this. Mm -mm. I'm not going to cut this one. I'm going to do the whole schmo. So hang on a second. I found some scrapbook paper. That's, you know, heavy cardstockish paper. And I'm going to lay that here. And according to what I rewatched on the video, is you take this and you brush the Mod Podge, which I don't have any of. I get rid of it. Like I said, in the summertime, it is very humid here. And Mod Podge sticks to everything. I learned the hard way with my journals. When my pages stuck together, I was not a happy camper. All right, so that is brushed on there with a better brush than la last time when I filmed it. I'm going to take this, and she said, turn it upside down and put it on the wet stuff. Then, instead of using what I used last time, which was a, um, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. bone folder, she uses the brayer to do this, and I should have remembered that from last time, and I didn't. And then she said, you have to wait for this to dry, and then you peel it off. I hope this works. Hers is over a pattern also, so I thought I would try it the way she did it. I think put my paintbrush in the water. All right, so now we're going to wait a few minutes, and then we're going to peel it off. Okay, so this is semi-dry. I already pe peeled up one of the corners and took a little bitty beak. All right, so let me turn this this way because it's a 12 by 12. All right, so I peeled this off. Oh, looky here. 
I read, I pay attention to the direction stuff turns out, oh my word, look at that, that's so cute! Look at that. Whoops. So there you go. So you can superimpose your stuff on something else by doing this. And you, you really need to let this dry before you do anything to it. But there you go. This, oh, I, I like this. Now, I'm not as crazy about this because now I really did do the thing. Maybe I shouldn't have done it on this mat because it's a little bumpy. But for the most part, I mean, all the stuff came off of it. And I think I can probably print on this sheet again. What do you think? I think I can. I might have to leave that the way it is. Uh, let me find my other stuff from the first time. Here it is. All right, so here's the stuff on the tissue paper, and here's on the other paper. So this looks a little more vintagey, kind of messy look, and this came out like a perfect transfer. I really like this idea. This is awesome. How cool is this? And this does give it a more aged look because this is not white. I could, oh, I didn't see the backside. I could have done the backside where it talks about having a friend. Best friends are the ones who bring out the best in me and has all these sayings. And oh my goodness, I got print all over my fingers. Anyway, so this does not come off after it's dry. It's on there. So that's good. It's been about an hour, so that's good. And then I'm going to let this dry and we will see how this turns out. I'm sure it will be fine. Let me see this bottle. Oh, actually, it's already done. So if you want to paint something more of this over it to protect it, I don't think it's going to smear. No, it's not going to smear. I pulled the paper right here so it is coming up, and then I smeared it with my finger. But other than that, I think it turned out really, really well. So please go to Our Upcycled Life and watch her video on this. Um, I, wow, I'm so surprised. I love it. All right, guys, give it a try. Thanks so much for watching, and I really appreciate all you subscribers. I've been doing videos since 2018, and I'm just now pushing 2,000 subscribers. That's not, <laughs> that's not very good, but, you know, I'm slow. I think it's because I don't do shorts and reels and lives and premieres. I just show up once a week and do something silly, which is fine. And I probably continue to keep it that way. All right. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, I consider this a major success. And I'm so excited about it. Give it a try. Thanks, everybody. Bye.